Do you know the three big R's, R as in revenue, <laughs> of entrepreneurship? This video tells you all about it. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. I am changing founders into leaders. If you like the contents of my channel and this video, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button underneath this video and don't forget to switch on the bell so that you are not missing any future content. This video is about three characteristics, three skills that you should develop to become a successful entrepreneur and I call them the three R's. The first R is actually reflection. Now, what does that mean? Before you are doing things, it is important to think a lot, to think about the pros and cons, the opportunities and the risks, to really plan what you are doing and to go through a few scenarios before you actually start the action. That is all about reflection. I'd like to add a caveat here. Do not reflect all the time and do not reflect too long. You certainly have to apply the 80-20 rule here. Don't go for perfection. Make a clear decision when you will start with the action. And here actually the time box approach can help you a lot. You just say, listen, the reflection phase is today and tomorrow. And from tomorrow, 5 p.m. for example, it's action time. So this will help you to limit the reflection time to a sensible amount. Point number two, is responsibility. So once you have reflected, you take the responsibility for your actions. You act, you, you are responsible, <clears throat> you're the leader, and no matter what is happening, if it is a success or a failure, you're responsible. If it is a success, well, great, you go on, you go to the next action. If it was a failure, you are not going to blame yourself or blame others. You are looking for reasons why it did not work, and based on that analysis, some people also call it a post-mortem, you learn from that and that influences your plans for the future. Point number two, responsibility. The third very important characteristic that you have to develop is resilience. Resilience is so unbelievably important, not only in life, but even more in entrepreneurial life. Why is it? Or what does resilience actually stand for? Resilience actually stands for a strength that you have, which always makes you get back on track. Because we always get deviated. We are not following our initial goal, our initial path all the time. We get distracted, we do other things. Now, the big trade now here is, the big strength is to get back on track, to be resilient. Also, after failures, after disappointments, after deceptions, to stand up again and to get back on track to be resilient. And what did Churchill say? Success is actually standing up once more than you have fallen down. And that is all about resilience. Three important traits for entrepreneurial leaders. Number one, reflection. Think about what you do. Number two, responsibility. Take the responsibility and do it. And the third big R is resilience. Get back on track after you have got off track. The LIFE program actually teaches you all these tips, tricks, tools, methods and personal traits within weeks. If you are interested in a personal consulting session with me, feel free to apply for it by clicking on the link underneath this video. It is not about sales. It is really, I'm not selling anything to you. We are having a chat and what we will come up with is a plan on how to get your business from A to B, maybe in a faster and in a more effective way than you have been able so far, 
and if you would like to work with me then that's fine if you don't that's also fine it is very much about having this chat and having a planning session it's not about sales feel free to apply for it alternatively send me a whatsapp the number is on the screen right now my name is Armin El Rao the entrepreneur's entrepreneur the founder of a Leonard Rao and I would like to help you to become a better leader so don't forget lead yourself.